Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to be looking at setting up a fresh WordPress install on your LAMP server. Now, if you don't know, a LAMP server is just an acronym for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So what I have here is a LAMP server that I just spun up on DigitalOcean. So you can see that right here. That's the IP address. And I just logged into that via SSH. So I'm um, Right here in this terminal window, I'm logged into the LAMP server, and we're gonna get right into the tutorial, which is gonna involve basically downloading WordPress from the internet, installing it onto your server, and then doing some configuration such as hooking your WordPress website up to a database. Uh, but don't you worry, I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we wanna do is go to our public HTML directory, which by default on most um, LAMP servers, it's gonna be at var www.html. And we can see that there's an index file. And if we go to this IP address, we'll just copy that and paste it in the browser. We can see the default landing page for this website. So keep that in mind for later. But for now, what we wanna do is grab, um, grab WordPress from the internet. So we can do that with the wget command. And uh, WordPress is located the, the WordPress install package is located at this directory. So you're going to type in HTTPS colon slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz. And that's just going to pull that down onto your server. And you can see that here we got latest dot tar tar dot gz. Okay, so the next thing we want to do since this is an archive file, we want to extract it. So we can do that with tar dash xzvf latest.tar.gz that's going to do its thing and you're going to see here a new directory called wordpress so let's go into the wordpress directory and you'll see all the basic wordpress um, installation configuration files the php files the subdirectories and everything so we're going to look at that in a second but like i said at the beginning of this video we have to set up a database connection or I guess just a database and then connect that to our WordPress website. So um, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing I want to do is log into our MySQL database. So we can just do that because I'm, I'm actually root. And if you use DigitalOcean, you'll be root as well. I can just type in MySQL without uh, typing any credentials like a username or a password. That might look different for you. Um, but for me, I'm in my MySQL uh, command line because we have this MySQL prefix here. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to create that database. So that's as simple as saying create, C-R-E, a create database, and then your database name. So database, and, and I'm being very simple here. The, the name of my database is database underscore name. So you can change that to whatever you want. And then uh, after that, say default character set utf8 and then collate utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci so let me just look that over real quick to make sure i did that correctly so we got create a database called database name the default character set is going to be utf8 collate utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci okay let's see if that works Perfect, so we're good. We have our database, it's empty at this point. Now let's create a database user. So to do that, we do grant all on database underscore name, that's the name of our database, dot star, so all tables, to database underscore user. That's gonna be the name of our user, database user. That could be something else for you guys. It could be your name or whatever, something else, <laughs> uh, at local host. So because our database is gonna be running on the same server as our website, we're gonna use local host. This could obviously be another IP address or a domain name even, but to keep it simple, local host, and then identified by uh, user underscore password. And this is the password. So again, just for simplicity, I'm just saying my password is user underscore password. This could be something I, I highly recommend not to do password one, two, three or whatever. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna do that. So uh, hit enter 
and that looks good. We came back without any errors. Now the last thing I'm gonna do in here is flush privileges with a semicolon, hit enter. And uh, yeah, uh, that all looked like it went well. So let's get out of this prompt here. Now we're back into the, um, the terminal within the server. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to edit the configuration files for WordPress and point them to the database that we just created. So in here, you'll find a file called um, WP config sample. So we wanna copy that in, um, into a file called WP config Dot PHP. So they, they start you out with this sample file uh, here, but um, we want to actually make a real file. So that's why we made a copy of that file. So now we can edit the actual configuration file. And by the way, guys, I'm using Vim to edit. You can use a different editor. Um, there's what else like G edit or I think like a, a visual version of Vim that they have as well. Uh, there, and there's plenty of different editors. Um, but I'm using Vim, the concept is the same though, regardless of whatever editor you're using. So let's just scroll down here just a tad and you'll see this, this block of uh, MySQL settings. So here all we basically have to do is to replace these values, whoops, replace these values for the database name, the user and the password with what we just set up in the MySQL database. So for us, the MySQL database name is database name the database user is database user. The password is user, oops, user underscore password. Um, the local or the host is local host, so that's fine. And the, the character set is UTF-8. That's so that looks good. Um, the last thing we want to do here is look at this block of unique keys and salt. So basically what you want to do here is delete, oops, delete all of these lines here. And we want to get our unique um, salt values. So kind of explains what you have to do here. Is just copy this URL here uh, from here, HTTPS all the way to salt. So copy and then paste that into your web browser. It's gonna give you this mumbo jumbo garbage. And you'll see every time you go to this website, the values change. And that's just allowing um, it to be unique for you. So copy these values and paste them back into your configuration file. And um, that looks good. So go ahead and save that file. And now we have our configuration file set up. But you know, if we go to our WordPress website, or if we go to our, I guess our IP address at this point, we're still not gonna see our WordPress website. That's because we have to tell Apache who is running our, our websites to, um, to know where the WordPress website exists. So let's do that right now. That's gonna be um, for most default um, Apache servers. Go to the uh, what is it? CD etc Apache two and then sites available. Okay, so in that directory, we should just see um, our default for in the. This could be different for you, but uh, for me, it's going to be just this default comp file. Okay. And in here, you can see that, like I said, like in the beginning of the video, um, our, our website is being hosted out of var www.html. But if you remember, we created a subdirectory under there called WordPress. So let's just add that to the end of this string. So WordPress here, that's our document, our new document root, P-R-E-S-S. -S. Okay. And then um, in this directory block here, let's also tack on the WordPress subdirectory. And I think that's all I have to do in here. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, and again, we won't see any changes if we test this out. We have to actually restart or refresh the Apache server. So to do that, we can just type in service Apache to restart. Good. No errors, nothing like that. And we can refresh the page and bam. 
now our Apache server is giving us our WordPress website, which at this point is just the installer, but we can quickly go through this and set up our website. So for me, the site title is gonna be um, lamp, lamp site. This is a lamp site. Username, uh, we'll make it admin, password, pass, that's fine. I don't recommend this, uh, use, use secure credentials here. Um, my email is tony at tonyteaches.tech. Feel free to email me with any questions about this video or in the comments below. And we'll install WordPress. And there we go. So uh, I don't want to save that. We can log in with our new credentials, admin pass. Sure, you can remember me. And there you go. We got our WordPress dashboard here. You can obviously go in here and write your posts, write your pages install some plugins, change your theme. But just to prove, here is the basic, I believe this is probably the 2020 theme. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it guys. That is how you install WordPress on a LAMP server from start to finish, setting up the database, editing the configuration files, and changing the Apache configuration files to point to your new website. So like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this in the realm of WordPress websites, server administration, and just in plain words, just getting your website up and running, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. If you do, I'll see you in the next video.